Okay, let's get an idea of uh, what 3D View Station VR Edition is able to do. Uh, we have loaded a uh, truck here in our session and the colleague has positioned our interactive menu at a space, a certain location in the space. You could also just temporarily show and hide it every time again after you activated a function. So. Um, he used uh, the ghosting function first uh, to hide or ghost certain parts. Now he has selected the whole truck and is finally lifting it. Um, we are also offering some uh, measurement functions. Uh, example here, the tire or here in the front. By the end of the day you can use everything which you might already know from our desktop product or from our 3D View Station Web Viewer product. So here, for instance, wall thickness analysis with graduated colors. Yeah. Uh, he now activated the section function, so also we could teleport ourselves um, more or less into the vehicle. Now we have sectioned it and um, we're going to ins inspect it and have a, a closer look inside. As the last one in the sequence, we're just taking the tire here to simulate uh, disassembly process. Yeah. Finally here, selecting a single part and then automatically selecting all parts which have the same color of the selected one. A very strong selection function. Now let's bring VR to the next level and this means uh, what about uh, doing a VR session with uh, 125,000 parts like we have here right now with that assembly line of aircrafts. That's uh, pretty big assembly, it's pretty complex, but as you can see, not a problem at all for our VR edition, which is using the same graphics kernel like our desktop and our web-based products. So let's have a look inside here. Let's go over to the next aircraft and uh, maybe we jump up to the stairs here and join our digital colleagues here for a while. Now let's go further to the next uh, aircraft, the next stage of the assembly. And uh, you know, just to show you, even with so many parts, we still can use our standard functionality, like uh, let's move the stairs aside. So. No difference if we have 1,000 parts or 125,000 parts. And that's it for now for the interactive part. Um, of course, it's always a challenge to get data in to such a free system, and that, that's to be done instantly if you use our product family. So you can use our desktop product or our batch tool CAS to pre-translate data to get them in the system. But the real value you, you will get if you run the VR edition integrated with a PLM system, for instance. And here's an example with Siemens uh, Team Center Engineering. The annotations you can see here have been metadata inside Team Center. So there are no static information. Also the, the variants, the configuration you could see with the mirrors um, have been imported through uh, Team Center. And finally here, let's drive uh, our VR edition with uh, voice recognition. Very nice example provided by our partner, Piterion. Create new issue. Create new issue. Please describe the issue. There are bolts missing. The following problem description was recognized. There are bolts missing. Is this correct? Yes. Your answer was yes. The complete problem description reads there are bolts missing. Successfully saved. Exit inspection. Shutting down VR inspection. So that's it for now. Happy working with the our VR edition.